considered as one of the criminal and punishable offences under Ghana's criminal code. The defendant, already sentenced for his crime, personally thought his chances of getting out of jail soon was slimmer than the waste of an hourglass. Over the months, we contacted the family of the accused to file for an appeal. With documents in hand, we then identified Charles, a driver to the judge, also known as a middleman in the sale of justice. Charles gave us some tips and guidance and took an initial bribe. He called to say the judge was willing to see us on only one non-negotiable condition, a payment of 2,000 Ghana cities. We agreed. True to his word, the driver led us to the judge, who took the 2,000 Ghana cities from us, being representatives of the criminal suspect. <laughs>
This challenge has been posted to the court not long ago, and we wanted to know how susceptible it was to the prevalent bribery and corruption culture. We decided to follow a case which involved one man suing another for fraud. To get to the judge, we needed to pass through Mr. Trey, a gentleman known for speeding the judicial process in favor of the highest leader. We met him on the day he proposed for seeing the judge when we paired the amount of 2,000 Ghana cities that he demanded. He then took us to the judge. While waiting in the judge's sitting room, Mr. Trey, upon seeing that the bright money for the judge wasn't in an envelope, appeared agitated. The judge wanted us out before accepting the prime money. When we did it, he walked out. Way back, Trent gave us reasons for the charges we 